Hi guys, me Maddie. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I would like to start a new series called Making Monday. And I'll basically do stuff like, it'll mainly be, um, like, painting and drawing and stuff. But the making side of things, I will do, like, posters. I'll teach you how to make. One second. I'll teach you how to make these cute little bookmarks. I'm going to do that in my next video. Stay tuned for that. Um, because that will be a great video to show you guys. Um, I really love making those. I make them for all my friends. And um, today what I'm going to do is show you my daily art supplies that I use every single day. And there's a lot there as I saw. As you saw. And I saw as well. Yeah. Um, so let's get started. So I'm going to start off with my pencil case. Um, <clears throat> I got this. It's actually an eyeliner, but I got the wrong one. I was supposed to get a pencil, but I got a pen by accident. So, but it actually works really great for outlining and like a great calligraphy pen. So I use this one. It's a really good pen. Um, yeah, <laughs> bit odd because it's not really proper art supply. And there's me waffling around some scissors. Um, scissors. Yep. But what I like about these are hearts. But then when you open them, it's a broken heart. But it's really cute. I don't know. A glue stick. It's really good because if you cut something up, but then you figure out I shouldn't have cut that. Glue it back on. So. Cut the screen. Um. I have one of these Pentel pens, the Pentel pens, yeah, Pentel, 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 I'm not sure how you say it, but it's not one of the um, ones like these kind, the brushy pens, it's a brushy pencil, it's these ones, the, um, they're not Biro, they're the ballpoint ones, um, I got it my favourite colour, turquoise, you can't really tell, um it's really good um i just got a basic pencil i really like it it's purple it's not like purple pencil but the color on the outside is purple just a good one um it's by the um same company as this is a hb pencil by the way and uh, my favorite kind is a hb and it's from the same uh, company as this. They're both from Servi. Serv? Servi? I'm not sure how you pronounce it. But this one's Servi Deep. This one isn't because it's like a thick pen. So it's a deep one. This one isn't. It's just a regular pencil. It's an HB. Um, it's pastel. Just because it's got a pastel outside. It's not actually pastel pencil. But they're both really good pencils. I use this one more. This is like my daily pencil. But yeah, um, I have this set. Uh, um, of highlighters. I use these basically every day in my bullet journal. But let me put them in colours for you. So red, orange, yellow, green. Yeah, rainbow order. There's six of them. Um, you might think there's seven colors in the rainbow. There usually is because it's indigo then blue. Was it blue then indigo? Blue indigo. Blue. Indigo after blue. Um, but they only have. They've got red, orange, jelly, green, blue, purple. Um, this is really random because I don't know where it is at the minute. I'm not sure. Um, it's in one of my drawers, but um, it's this um staples refiller because I have this mini panda one by Legamy. That's like it's one of my favorite brands for stationery. Well, it's my favorite stationery brand. My favorite art supply brand. Uh, well, I've got brand. There's two of them. Um, it's Faber Castell and Winsor Newton. 
um just a bunch of refills for them because then it's a mini one so you'll need to go through a lot more um oh i use this one this one is unipin unipin regular fine liner one it's water and fade proof it's the pigmented ink one um but you do have to recap it after use i always do i don't know why it says that because i'm not really sure who wouldn't because i always use it it's really good this one's actually new that's why oh i was gonna say it wasn't bent but i did use it earlier didn't i it's not really that bent it's just a little crooked i will paint my hands with that <laughs> Um, oh, these ones can't get out. Um, I always use these gel pens in my bullet journals, so they're the mini ones. And um, so I've got green, blue, pink, and purple. And then I don't usually use these, but somehow they got in here two paper clips. Um, oh, 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 I use this pencil a lot as well. This is by so rubbed out on here. So you can see the little silver bits, but it's mainly rubbed out. I can't remember, but I think this is by Stedler. I, I don't know how you say it, I think. I think it's Stedler. Stedler? I don't know. Um, I thought it was from Faber Castell. But they don't do these kind of, so I think, it's not by Winter and Newton, no. Um, yeah. Um, I got this, this is a Parker pen. It's actually purple, you just can't really tell. Oh my goodness, why is the lighting so bad in here? Well, it's really deep purple, that's why. It's like like a really dark purpley maroon colour. It's really nice. Though. That's not the colour of ink. The colour of ink is just... It's, um... The colour is apparently deep royal blue. Never really heard of that one before, but... We're going to go with it. Um... Pretty good. I'm not going to test all these out, because I just got a new notebook... And I kind of don't want to waste the pages testing them out. But I don't want to use just printer paper either. Um, because it's just annoying. So, in another video I will show you them. So make sure you're watching out for one of my next videos. And I will mark it all out. Because I can go get it from the attic. I have some good um, paper that I used to use for testing. Um, so I'll go get that another day, but I can't do it tonight. Um, but yeah, the last thing in my pencil case is actually by Winsor & Newton. It's my favourite thing ever. I was actually using this earlier. Like, just before I shoot the video. It's so hard to open because it's, it's sort of new. Oh, all the pans. All the pans fell out. Blech. I didn't let some of the pans dry, so now they're all sticky. Uh, I'm just gonna wipe that chin. So it's got, it looks like lime, but it's like a really lemon. This is lemon yellow. I'm gonna try to remember them without think. No, I need to think. Um. I'm so sorry. I don't know which ones are on here. I don't have all of these. So I'm just going to try to guess on what they look like. So, lemon yellow hue. 
Cadmium, how do you say that? Cadmium, cadmium yellow, um, pale hue, um, okay, that's useless, I'm never gonna find that. Um, just put that back in the box. I keep the box because sometimes I put it back in the box when I don't have it in there. Um, but now, bear with me while I just shove all my pens back in. Pens and pencils. Every, just everything that I had. Okay, so. Um, it's caught, so bear with me. Okay. So the next thing um, I have is I got this. Oh, I didn't know this is by Windsor and Newton. I never get the pads from there because they're so like ex they're really expensive and I could get the same quality paper. Oh, it's cheaper. There was twenty percent off. It says on the back twenty percent off. I got it from Coleman's. Twenty percent off, and um, it was four seventy. I think that's not too bad either. And um, but it had twenty percent off. I think that Is that about two fifty? I think no, no, three pound. Three pound, three fifty. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, that's good. I, I'm actually very pleased that's by Windsor and Newton because I wondered what company it was from because I've been looking this morning and I couldn't see the company name. Oh, but yeah, on the inside it has what you can get. That's specially made for this paper as well. Um, the Windsor and Newton colouring pencils, the watercolour and non watercolour. Yep. Um pretty chuffed about that. Um I got this is my old notebook, but I use it every day because I try to do like one piece a day that is basically copying one that I did in my old notebook and just like trying to make it better so today i did this one i i did a quote with it um but this this was the old one i did last year it says shine bright i followed mako's tutorial on that one make make a scene i think i'm not sure how you say it um really good um that was the one we talked about like believing in yourself and you can do it um but this one not that page this page um, I did this one today. Um, I, I drew the picture and I put nothing is impossible. The word itself says I'm possible. Um, I, I really like how this turned out. I think it worked really nicely. Um, it's just a great picture and I still need to finish this one off too. This is my first page. I was going to do that and then like a nice inspiring quote at the top. I like for the first few pages, um, I'm like at the minute I'm really into the inspiring quotes because like the COVID-19 pandemic, but just because I'm really liking like being upbeat about like quotes and I was, I was thinking of doing this one about like a song maybe, um, I'm not too sure, but look, I've already started this. I was doing it on this flower. I'm not how sure you pronounce it, but it's like the Ganderi, Gander, Ganderi, Daisy. I'm not sure you pronounce that. Everything's good. So the last thing is every day. I feel really bad, really, because these aren't regular pencils. They're watercolor pencils, and I barely ever use them for watercolors. Like I always use them as regular pencils, but look, I've used them. Some of them I used them quite a bit. Like one of them, this pink, this is pink colour. That one that I'm point pushing, and that I've used that one quite a lot. And this green too, but um, they're really nice shades. I absolutely adore the shades. They're just they make me so happy. Um, I got these as a gift from my mum and dad. I was saving up to get these because these were really expensive when I looked at them. Um, oh, so the colours in here are 
Hi there. So it's got the pencil on them and they mix with water. Pretty good. So these are very expensive. Oh, it didn't say the price on here. Because we got these off Amazon, so they didn't have the sticker. But they were very expensive. Especially because I wanted the watercolour versions because I was going through this phase of doing the watercolour drawings with the pencils. Um, and I was just using a cheap brand from Hobbycraft. Um, it was just their own brand. Um, I thought it was pretty cool at the time. So I wanted to get the new, the good ones that everybody on the videos I was watching was using. They had very good reviews. So, um, I think this video went very well. I'm very happy with my first Making Monday. Um, it is a Sunday, but I post them on Monday, so it is a Making Monday. Um, but thank you for watching. This was been this has been amazing. Thank you so much. Um, if you mess with the panda, you get the bamboo. Goodbye.